Hey guys, EVP Man here, and today we're going to take a look at the new Dex Pad from Samsung. Let's check it out. Now last year when we did our uh, initial review of the S8, we actually got our hands on a Dex Station. Uh, this is the next generation of Dex Pad. Its form factor has changed somewhat, but it shares a lot of the same capabilities that you'll find with the Dex Station. So in this video, what we're going to do is cover what is the Dex Pad, why would you want to consider it, and if you have one of these, should you upgrade to one of these? Let's get right to it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the little bell icon to get notified when new videos become available. So let's answer the easiest question when it comes to these two devices. You have a deck station and you have a deck pad. If you already have a deck station, is there any need for you to pick up a deck pad? The only reason you'd want to get one is if you want to change the form factor. I don't really see a reason why you would want to upgrade to one of these. So that's going to answer the first question and we'll see what the differences are in a couple seconds. But for those of you who are considering it, there's no need to upgrade from one to the other. Now for those of you who are considering a DEX pad, let's go over the specs, we'll do the unboxing, and we'll talk about why you may want to consider one of these devices as an add-on to your Samsung Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, or even Note 8 experience. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the specs here of what you'll find. So first of all, uh, this is a, well it's a DEX pad, it is a docking station for your S9, S9 Plus, or even Note 8. It's going to give you 4K output. It has two USB 2.0 ports, and then the phone pr pretty much functions like if it was a, a touchpad. On the back here, you'll see uh, more details of the uh, DEX pad. And the point with the DEX pad is that it allows your computer um, or your phone, once it's connected to the pad, to serve up an experience that is very desktop-like. It looks a lot like Windows 10 and it's going to give you access to all your products, it's going to give you access to everything that you have in your phone but in a larger screen format. And It does uh, include uh, some cables for charging as well as your power brick. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing and let's check out all the accessories. So inside the box you're going to find your dex pad. We'll take a look at this in a second. Put it to the side. Quick start guide. This is nice. A very thin mini HDMI cable. Uh, this is great for travel, so I really like the fact that they've included that. A USB-C cable and a power brick, which you want to be able to use with the DEX pad in order to keep your device charged. So pretty much that's all to it. Again, we put this aside. DEX pad, USB-C, HDMI, and power brick. So now taking a closer look at the DEX pad, pretty much what you're going to be doing is uh, you'll be sliding your phone this way and there's a rubberized cushion here that's going to make sure that your phone um, isn't scratched or bumped up. It has a cooling vent area right here that's going to help with cooling. USB-C, so this isn't wirelessly charging but this is actually charging direct. Uh, you'll notice uh, here in the front there aren't any uh, ports at all on the sides except when you get to the back. So the back, this is where you have your two USB uh, connectors, HDMI, and your USB-C. Now, if we were to compare that to the deck station, here's uh, some of the things that you'll notice it's a little bit different. You do have the same USB ports, you have HDMI, USB-C, but this one had an Ethernet. Now, this uh, I've traveled often with this in my bag as I do business trips, but I find that the form factor of this is a little bit better because it's thinner. Now, um, how large is it? So let me put an S9 Plus next to it so you can see. We'll put them like this, right next to each other. Uh, they're relatively around the same size, so you can see that. On the bottom, you do have some rubberized feet. They're going to hold it in place. And one of the things that I didn't like about the deck station was that I had to take my phone out of its case anytime I wanted to dock it. So one of the things that I want to find out as we connect this will it support a case. So for those of you who may be inquiring, I have on my phone a Monarch case from UAG reviewed on the channel and I still have the same glass that I installed when the phone was released from Whitestone Glass which I include in the common area of the link again. Uh, one of the best glass screen protectors on the market have not changed it and it has stood up well uh, from release day. So let's go ahead and, and connect this and see what it looks like on my uh, large screen monitor. Now right before we connect to the monitor, one thing I wanted to highlight. 
uh, will this support your phone in a case? And the answer is no. If we take a look right here, let's see if we can kind of get that a little bit brightened up a little bit, and we'll zoom in. You'll notice where the USB-C aligns with the case on. With the case on, it just brings it off alignment. So you're going to have to move the phone out of the case in order to connect it. That's quite unfortunate. I wish they had some type of mechanism that allowed you to adjust the height of the port so that you can keep your case on. All right, so I have my uh, DEX pad connected to my monitor. This is a 38 ultra wide. It was the 38 ultra wide that we had reviewed at LG's uh, CES 2018 uh, conference. And what I'm going to do is I have a mouse uh, connected to the actual DEX pad. I'm just going to go through the next just so you can see what's going on. I'm going to choose agree to all, hit start. And now um, I need to do my calibration. You notice how all these points look good where they're at, so I'm not going to uh, do anything with them. Hit OK. And now uh, here I have everything all set up. So it very much looks like if it were a Windows desktop. Uh, you'll notice that you have over here a little button that was going to allow you to look at all your apps. I'm going to reduce this. Here you have some shortcuts that have come up. And on the bottom, these are all my, uh, it looks like my active apps or shortcuts to my apps. We'll take a look at that in a couple seconds. And then over here you have some controls giving you the date and time and some other widgets here for some of the things that are commonly used. All right, so now taking a closer look at uh, all the components that you have. Not much has changed from the original decks that we saw on the S8. Uh, so let's take a, just a quick review of some of the things that you see here. So over here at the bottom, what you have are apps that are in your multitasking pane right here. So you notice how they're showing up here? Uh, that would be your multitasking button. And they're showing up here in the bottom for easy access. So all you have to do is click on them, and then it will open uh, that specific area for you. You do have um, some shortcuts here that are predefined by when you connect your device to it. Uh, it just automatically shows up this way. You can drag icons to the desktop if that's something that you'd like to do. To gain access to your programs, you just click on uh, the menu button here, uh, which is very similar to your start button in Windows 10. And then you see all the apps that are available to you that are on your phone. You also have some that are optimized for Dex. And when you go in here, you'll notice that Windows, uh, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint have all been optimized. So as we think about, like, who is the person who would want to use a DEX type solution? Well, it's going to be the person that may, uh, you want to travel light and you want to use your phone as your desktop. It's someone if you have, let's say, in your home, a, um, let's say, a secondary home that you're traveling to and or you spend a lot of time in the hotel and you tend to stream a lot of your content. DEX is a great way to connect your phone to a PC and just stream and use it also as a desktop if that's something that you like to do. So you see a lot of the apps here are really focused on business use uh, versus you know, just watching media and consuming uh, content. But that's something that you can do as well. Now over here on the side, you have a couple things going on here. You can collapse this by just closing it. Uh, you have your battery level. Um, and in this case, I have my headphone uh, connected to this. Uh, I have here my the fact that Samsung DeX is connected. And I can choose a couple things, uh, screen mirroring and then also the fast charging. One thing that I found interesting is that the DeX pad does not support fast charging in the actual DeX mode which means that you're cable charging right now. You're not doing the fast charging. If you want to fast charge while using the DEX pad, you have to switch to fast charging, and by doing it, it's going to disable the DEX station. So again, you cannot run the DEX station and fast charging at the same time uh, in the implementation of the uh, DEX pad. Now, as we uh, continue to move over, you can see your Bluetooth, your NFC, your uh, cellular data network connection with the signal strength, uh, battery level, and once again, this is going to be charging standard charging rate uh, when it's in the uh, docking station. You can see also here access to uh, a virtual keyboard, so if you want to do that, or you can have a physical keyboard, volume control, screenshot, and then also a finder. Now, for those of you who are curious about the settings area, let's go into that for a second. 
and here you can see these settings are all about decks. So here you can go in and you can look at your timeout. Let's go back. Your timeout wallpaper screen resolution. And I know a lot of you want to see this. So the screen resolution is right now set, set to auto. So that's 2560 by 1440. You can change it to 1920 or 1600 by 900. So you can definitely uh, change it to that size. You do have your pointer speed for your mouse. Show on screen keyboard for decks. You can turn that on if you like. Default output. So play sounds through the connected TV or monitor uh, when it starts. So you can turn that on, that on or off. Receive marketing information. Um, Samsung Dex Labs. You know this is uh, again it's it's like Google Labs where you can have features that uh, are not yet fully vetted or tested, but still try them. Uh, information on how to use uh, Samsung Dex, and then also the Samsung Dex version. Now, for those of you who are curious about media playback, I just wanted to show you uh, some of the options that you have. While you know, some of you may have Netflix, other may have uh, like a YouTube TV. I just wanted to show you kind of like the playback that's coming through. Now, you can choose to either have the audio coming through the phone, a Bluetooth device, or the monitor that you're connected to or the TV. And here you can see me playing some content. And what I'm going to do is just going to blow this up full screen. So now the full screen here is, is not taking up the entire desktop, but you'll notice that I can resize it. And it's working very much like a PC would. I can also then take this and let's say if I want to resize it to this size and then uh, just put it over to the side. Now, one thing I will mention is that I tried uh, DirecTV now, and it just crashes in DeX. Uh, YouTube TV works without a problem. So if you launch Netflix, uh, this is how it starts up um, here in the corner. Uh, so let's see what we can see and see if it actually plays well in the DeX station. All right, so what we see here is Netflix now playing. And again, the audio is now, I have it coming through the phone as opposed to coming through the monitor. But this is going to give you kind of a sense of what you could expect. Now, from a sizing, let's see if we can size it. Um, and the answer to that is no. Unfortunately, sizing is not possible. So only YouTube TV am I able to change the size. And it looks like I can make it smaller, uh, but I can't make it any bigger. Let's see if we can use this guy right here. No, doesn't look like we can. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. So it looks like only, the only thing I can do is size it in here. It doesn't look like I can make it uh, much larger than what you can see here in this area. So YouTube TV, thumbs up. Um, the Netflix works, but it's only going to be in this small frame. All right, so this is kind of like the ultimate setup for anyone who's using um, the Dex, uh, pad or Dex station. The ability to be able to work in a Word document as you have here and then also stream something at the same time. One of the things that I've noticed is that if I try to work on a Word document while YouTube TV is running on the side, it kind of stops. So if I click on it again over here, it starts playing again. But if I start working over here, and this is a script that I had written for uh, a review that we did about the 2018 Toyota Camry uh, during the Chicago Auto Show. So you can see the, uh, the script here, but I cannot work in the script with the video without the video stopping. So watch what will happen it stops. So that's kind of a downer, at least for YouTube TV. And um, we're going to try this with Netflix. So now the next test uh, that I see is, you know, doing some business work, but then also, um, you know, consuming some YouTube. This is regular YouTube. So let's go ahead and launch this video. This is a video that we did uh, five months ago. And we're going to play that video. And while it's playing, we're going to work over here on our document. So you notice that I'm highlighting and the video is still working without a problem. And as I move this over to the side, just sizing it well, it doesn't look like there's any issues with it. It's working well. I can resize it. So you can watch YouTube and do some work at the same time with the deck station and a deck pad. So that's a thumbs up. All right, so our next multitasking test is, again, using still Word, but then at the same time, navigating on a browser. So here we have Chrome open. Uh, here I have my Instagram, I have my YouTube channel up, and then I also can just open up a new tab and, and go, you know, wherever I'd like to go if I want to go to, let's say, Best Buy, for example. And I can go ahead and start working over here. And you notice how it's still updating even though I'm working on this side. Now, you can in Best Buy also come in here and say that you want the desktop site. 
So let's go ahead and see if, if that updates. And it doesn't look like it has changed much. So it looks like even uh, the desktop site option, even though I've selected it, uh, was overridden. But access to both Chrome, your browser, so here we're looking at uh, Instagram, is still possible while using a business application. So this is another thumbs up. All right, this is our last multitasking test. So here I have Word going on. I have a video playing. And then what I have is my gallery open, and, and I'm just looking at a picture. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to correct the spelling. And I went ahead and did that. And you'll notice that there wasn't really any kind of delay. Over here, there's no stutter in the video. Everything looks good. All right, so hopefully all those multitasking video tests um, give you an idea of what the Dex Pad can do. Uh, keep in mind, no fast charging while it's connected, uh, and maybe it's because of the amount of power consumption that is required and to keep the device cool, but it really works. It delivers what it said, a desktop experience, has multitasking. The limited multitasking that we saw was due to the apps themselves, but other apps delivered without a problem. So uh, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Also, let me know what you think about the DexPad. Are you going to purchase one? Are you curious about it? Um, it's definitely something that I keep in my mat bag when I go out on business trips, and I've used it very often, more than I thought I would. But again, it's not for everyone. See you in the next one, guys.